Hey everyone, today we're gonna do this pretty strawberry look. I'm gonna start out with tag red, pink, and white on a petal shaped sponge. And with the white in the inner corner of the eye, I'm just gonna press in two butterfly wing shapes. And then I'll come to the bottom and press two bottom butterfly wing shapes to start out this design. And I forgot to press record on this part, but I used BAM stencil number 1213 and that same sponge across the center of my forehead to get that basket weave look. And now for a nice contrast against that pinkish red, I'm using some Superstar Fire Red to make the strawberry shape in the center of my forehead. And next at the top of the butterfly wing shape, I'm gonna swoop some lines up and then back down to a point. And then I'll come around above the eye area and do an oval just under the eyebrow. And next with that same number four brush, I'm going to come and make a swirly, almost like an S shape. This doesn't have to be perfect because it'll get a little bit covered up later on in the design. And next I've loaded up a half inch flat brush with the Party Explosion One Stroke Palette in the red, pink, and white combo. And I'm just going to come in and do some loop shapes going up the forehead. And now I'm going to use the green to the yellow to make some leaves for the top of the strawberry. I'm using my half inch protege brush with this one. So you'll just bring down a series of three leaves on top of the strawberry and then just a little swipe across for its stem. And then with another brush and Global Strong Black, I'm just gonna go in and put some little seeds on my strawberry. And next I'll just go in with a number one liner brush and that same black and just give everything a quick little outline. And with that same global strong black well loaded onto a brush, I'm just going to add some dots to echo the strawberry seeds and to give the design some interest. And I'll outline the inner corners of the swirls with white to help them stand out just a little bit. And next I'm going to pull in a series of teardrops. These almost look like fairy wings or butterfly wing shapes in black. And I'm always trying to make sure that the edges of my designs point toward that center focal point. And I'll just go through with some more of that black and add some little dots on the red loops for interest. And my hand is going to be covering up this part a little bit, but I've double loaded a petal brush with some Superstar Fire Red and white, and I'm just pulling the tip along and dragging it and then laying it down to make those pretty flower petal shapes. And now I'm going to make some cute little strawberry flowers. Um, they always have those little yellow centers when they first come out on the strawberry plant. So I've just loaded the inside of my brush with some Party Explosion Sunflower Yellow and Wolf White on the outer. And next, this is just an optional step to add some depth. I'm taking a lightly dampened angle brush and I'm pulling in the edges of those wing shapes to add some shading. And now with a well-loaded number five brush, I'm just going in with some wolf white and adding dots wherever I think the design needs them. And I'll use that same green um, and yellow one stroke as before to add some little leaves to echo the leaves from the strawberry top on the sides. And now for an extra touch of sparkle, I'm going to add some adhesive gems to the centers of my strawberry flowers. And if you have a little bit of extra time, you can go in and add some white highlights to the strawberry seeds and anywhere on the strawberry that you think a highlight would look good. And now for a finishing touch, I'm just going to add a few little starbursts throughout the design. And now to finish off the design, I'll just add a little afterglow glitter and that's it. That's the finished strawberry look. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.